Now a lot of people are probably asking themselves what this post is in the middle of the round pen for and it isn't a snubbing post. It's just simply a pole that we use to teach our horses to move around better. And we'll get into that in later horsemanship and, and uh, colt starting sessions. But for now we're going to put a bridle on Alice. Now when I first bridle up a colt, what I'm going to do is make sure that the bridle is a snaffle bit with a snaffle bit head stall. I'm going to put the reins over the horse's head if it has reins. It's not necessary at this point. I might leave the halter on for the first or second time and make sure you're using a smooth snaffle with a brow band and a throat latch so the horse can't get the bridle off rubbing on the fence. I also want to make sure that the bridle is adjusted so it's bigger than it has to be. There's, it's, there's nothing more difficult than trying to bridle a horse that's had a bridle too small put on it and it's had to have that bridle squeezed on up over its ears. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that she allows me to rub her between the ears and over the ears. If she's not, I'm going to spend some time working on that which you'll see in other horsemanship and colt starting sessions with horses that we start that aren't very gentle around the head. Now I take the, the pole strap in my left hand and I reach it up to the right hand. I then come down over her nose. I may want to actually spend some time around her nose to make sure that she's going to allow me to touch her nose. And she's quite fine for her first time. Now I just kind of cup her chin in my hand and I touch my thumb to the side of her mouth. The next thing I'm going to do is insert my thumb gently into the side of her mouth just enough to massage the gum. Now at this point I'm not worried about putting the bridle on her with her head on the ground. That comes later. We got lots of time for that stuff. We got to get riding this filly so we can put some miles on her and start getting her broke. So we just pull the bridle on with the pole strap once we open the mouth. Adjust the pole strap and the chin strap or throat latch. Do up your throat latch so that it's tight enough that you can't rub the bridle off. Now it's pretty loose which is good. That's what we wanted. We're going to tighten up the pole strap so that the bridle fits good in her mouth. Now she's pretty fussy about the bridle. She's got her, her head up in the air. We're not going to worry too much about that. We're just going to tie, she's got to learn to eat through the bridle, wear the bridle. You might even leave a bridle on in her stall overnight. We're just going to tie the bridle reins back nice and loose, not tight, not yet. Just nice and loose so she can wear this snaffle bit. We got the bridle on, snaffle bit. Saddle on, make sure your saddle is still tight enough to hold that saddle on if she were to perhaps lay down and roll. Back cinch is just right. Now we're just going to leave this filly alone. I like to leave them for about an hour. Let them wander around, get their head down, eat through the bridle. If you're going to leave her alone and not be watching her, put a breast collar on so that she, if she does lay down, that saddle doesn't roll underneath her belly. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to teach her just to steer just a little bit with the snaffle, work on our backup, and then eventually in the next little while, we're going to put our first ride on.